last lap, Orzo. Dig deep, dig deep. Come on, kiddo. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in that kick. Let's go get it. Good job, Brennan. Let her pull you along. Let her pull you along. You can run a strong last lap. I started running because I was I was um, I was such a bad basketball player that I was the only eighth grader cut from my seventh and eighth grade basketball team, and and my parents insisted they were forcing me to do a a sport. My dad kept saying, "You look like a runner. You look like a runner," and so I did. I joined cross country to try it, and I wasn't very good, but my high school coach. Um, really made me feel like I belonged. And, and for a very socially awkward, you know, 13, 14 year old kid that had, had struggled at making friends and, and was never seen as an athlete or a jock, um, to have a place where I fit in, something that I was okay at and making friends through that um, was, was a pretty eye-opening experience for me. Mark is always all in. So whatever he is working on at the moment, he, he's all in. So the kid that he has in front of him at any given moment in time is the most important kid at that moment in time. And it doesn't matter what their ability is in the classroom or on the track, um, he, he treats them all equally and he is passionate about everyone's um, place on the team and improvement. He has cried for these kids, he sweats for these kids, and they're, they're his everything. I would say one word, and it's probably acceptance. Mark has always been accepting of people with disabilities. As you guys know, Bree is one of the people that, that he took under his wing at Cary Grove. And uh, I had worked with Bree before she was a high school uh, athlete with Mark. and. And from the little 10-year-old that I knew of Bree to, to the 19-year-old she is now, she has just blossomed. Well, I feel like running has made me strong, like physically, but also mentally. You know, my because I, I suffer from obsessive compulsive disorder and anxiety, as well as autism. And so I feel like when I'm running, it's like I'm running away from like the OCD or the anxiety. I'm running away from it. I'm actually not feeling, like it's actually a time where I'm not feeling nervous is when I'm running. I, when, I know when he was my coach, I, I never, you know, I, I always loved that he cared about each and every single one of his athletes. He, he didn't choose favorites. He, he was willing to work with everyone. And so that made me feel like, oh, I'm not gonna give up. He believes in me. After you're doing Special Olympics and your daughter just never feels accepted or a part of anything outside of the special needs world, you know, just by him having her on the team and making her feel comfortable, making her want to stay on the team when it was hard. Um, but then, you know, he, he, he made her believe in herself. And, you know, and I worked for years <laughs> to get her to believe in herself, and I don't think I've accomplished it yet, but he did. <laughs> Mark is, it's corny, but, um, Mark is full of love. Mark is full of love for his own family. Obviously, his wife Danielle and his boys are are number one. But you know, when you reach a certain age in your life and you see that there's there's always room for one more, it, it, that is what who he is, and he just takes it minute by minute. When you look back at those defining moments in your life. And, and, and how, they, how they shape you. I mean, I, I remember two weeks as, a, as a, the, the, the worst freshman on the team, my high school program, I'm looking at my coach talking to us and I'm thinking, this is what I wanna do. I wanna be just like, I wanna be just like this guy. That's always kind of been the driving force behind my, my coaching career, my coaching philosophy was it changed my life. Um, this series of events and, and discovering running in, in, in a place on a team. And I've just always wanted to create something that could give uh, as many kids as possible that, that same uh, life-defining experience. I want these girls to leave the program holding their heads up high 
in, in, in never being in a relationship where someone is going to tell them what to do or what they think their worth is. It's, it's, it's what I think everyone's got to take out of sports and in this particular deal I, I feel that hey this is what I've always wanted to emphasize with the girls. Be the best person you can be first and if you do that then you're going to be the best athlete you can be in. And you get through this you can, you can do anything in life. You'll, you'll, you'll be successful no matter what you do.